Good morning. Today is a special day in the Chabad calendar. For those of you that were at Minyan in the morning, you know that already. Today we celebrate 73 years since the Lubavitcher Rebbe assumed the leadership of the Chabad movement on the day his father-in-law passed away in 1950. And it's interesting because we're celebrating this day as in today's Torah portion, we read about the song that the Jewish people sang, led by Moses, when the Jewish people left Egypt. Yesterday we read about them being trapped between the water and between the Egyptians who began chasing them. And today we read about the song that Moses sang. And I can't help but think about the similarities of the Rebbe and Moshe, and also about something the Rebbe taught us about Moshe. You know, you think about Moses taking the Jewish people out of Egypt after so much suffering, after slavery, after so many Jews were butchered and killed. And when Moses takes them and they cross the ocean and Pharaoh and his people are drowned, Moshe sings the song, Az Yashir Moshe. And the word Az means then he will sing, Az Yashir, not just then that he sang, but Moses was telling them that there will come a day of messianic era, a day of ultimate redemption, when all of us will sing, even those who were killed and were murdered in Egypt and weren't there. You know, imagine how the Jewish people felt standing on the ocean on the cusp of going to get the Torah at Sinai, but yet they remembered that there were so many that were lost in Egypt and suffered so much. And as much as they were celebrating, they couldn't forget what they went through. And Moses says, Az Yashir Moshe, don't worry. The singing is not over today. There will be a time when all the Jewish people and all of the souls and the shamot of those who perished will sing. And I think about the Rebbe becoming the leader of the Chabad movement in the ashes of the Holocaust. And the Rebbe reinvigorated a generation in the ashes of the Holocaust, the Rebbe saw the sparks of rebuilding. Every challenge and every obstacle the Rebbe saw as an opportunity. And every human being as a soul, as a spark of God. And the Rebbe taught us all to remember that even after the greatest calamity that ever befell the Jewish people, Az Yashir Moshe reminded us, the Rebbe, that we have the strength to rebuild from those ashes and we will yet sing again. And we will sing stronger than ever. And the Rebbe didn't just tell the Jewish people that, but he led in a way that was remarkable according to any standards. The Rebbe led with conviction and put a Chabad rabbi in every corner of the world and embraced every Jew with love and embraced every Jew with hope, with courage, with vigor, with a smile, with kindness. That's who the Rebbe was. Just as Moshe said on the day we read today, Az Yashir Moshe, the Rebbe said to the Jewish people, let's together rebuild. Let's know that the future is brighter and greater and we shall yet sing again. But there's something else interesting too. You know, in yesterday's Torah portion, we read the way God tells Moshe, God tells Moses, Ma titzak elai, what are you screaming to me? So tell the Jewish people to move on, get into the water. The Jewish people were terrified. Pharaoh was in the back, in the front was the water. Moshe was praying. Rashi says, God tells Moses, stop praying, just go. And the question that I ever asked in one of his talks is, why did Pharaoh have to tell, why did God have to tell Moses Stop praying. If he wanted him to travel, he should have just go into the ocean. But why to negate? And to say, stop praying. Prayer is a good thing. All right, maybe not now, but why does God have to tell him to stop praying? And the answer that Rebbe gives in one of his talks is that God knew Moses. And he knew that if he didn't tell him to stop praying, Mo Moses would try to multitask. He would try to, from one side, tell the Jews to travel, but he wouldn't stop praying. And when you deal with saving lives, you got to stop praying. You have to focus only on that. 
And that's why God was teaching a lesson through Moses for all of us for eternity. To remember, when the Rebbe took over the leadership, there was those that said, let's be insular, let's focus on studying, let's focus on spirituality. Of course, who wouldn't want to sit in yeshiva the whole day and study and pray God's Torah, God's wisdom? But David Abnei Yisov, so Matitzah, like God tells Moses, stop! When there's a fire, when the fire of assimilation is burning, when the fire of apathy, of atheism is burning, we have to stop whatever we're doing because we are the fire extinguishers to put out that fire and to awaken the soul, to awaken each Jew with vigor and strength and love and simcha and joy to connect to God, to connect to their Judaism. May this special day, auspicious day of Yud Shvat, and the Rebbe's light, and the Rebbe's love, unconditional love for every Jew that he taught each one of us, may it inspire us on this day especially to re-strengthen ourselves, to love every Jew, to connect to every Jew, to be a prouder Jew, and to continue the work, the legacy of the Rebbe by being a lamplighter and a fire extinguisher and bringing love and joy to every Jew. Have a great day.